Yo, what's up guys? I have another free pick video for you today. These are for the NBA picks on Tuesday, which means it's also Taco Tuesday for you guys over on Prize Picks. And we have a massive slate of 14 NBA games, which you guys know means more games to go through, more matchups to look at, which ultimately means better player props to look at for us as well. So as always, I have another two picks in this video that I love for you guys. I cannot wait to get into them. I even have a third alternate pick that I will show you guys as well. But I'm going to get into the picks in a second. First, let's recap the last video that we just did, which was the national championship game. We ended up going with clinging under on points, which we hit. We killed that. And then we went with ED over on points slash, you know, rebounds or sorry, rebounds slash assists, which... He had a great game, but unfortunately, he didn't have a great game in the rebounds or assist category. Um, so we ended up pushing with one and one. But overall, in the last, I think, eight videos now, seven or eight videos, we are on a 12 and four run, which is still insanely good. It's still a great percentage. Um, so I cannot wait to get into it. Trying to go two and oh, basically three and oh in this video, guys. And we're going to get right into it. So um, first, before we do, though, I do want to ask, guys, please, since we're on a crazy run, 12 and four, I post these videos every single day please go ahead and subscribe. It helps me out, but it also helps you guys out too. We are hating these plays like crazy. And if you guys are going to be watching, you know, player prop videos anyway, you might as well subscribe since we are hitting on a 12 and four run. And then also go ahead and like the video. It helps me out a lot, but let's get into the video. So like I said, we've been hitting like crazy real quick. I just want to go over the fact that not only have we been hitting like crazy on the player props in general, we've been hitting crazy specifically on sleeper. So you guys have heard me talk about it for a while now, um, but sleeper lines do come out way sooner and I post these videos as early as possible. So you guys get the best lines, but sleeper posts their lines even quicker, which helps me out as a creator to give you guys the lines early. But you guys can read these comments right here. Look, uh, this dude, Jimmy Walker is going crazy. He got on sleeper the first day, hit 1400 bucks. Next day, hit 1300 again. Sleeper is too easy to win. And then you guys could read these. Everyone's hitting on sleeper. We're all getting on sleeper. I've said it before. I'll say it again. We are basically boycotting prize picks at this point, guys. Prize picks lines are way too high. We do not like betting on prize picks. I try to tell everyone that um, right at the beginning of the videos because that is the, I can give you guys player props every day like I do. But overall, the best advice I could give to you guys is do not bet on prize picks bet on something like sleeper where there's lower lines it's easier to hit okay you guys can get on sleeper and they give a 500 dollars deposit match as well you guys just have to use code ghost so if you use the code ghost when you deposit they match it up to 500 bucks you guys get a free 500 bucks and every other app only gives 100 bucks sleeper gives 500 bucks which is another reason why they're great and then if you guys use that code ghost not only do you get that deposit match you guys are also going to get a free Jason Tatum play. So Sleeper throws promos out the window like it's nothing, like it's going out of style. So they have that Jason Tatum play up as well. So just use code Ghost and you guys get both of that and then you get on Sleeper, okay? Um, but let's get into the picks. So if Sleeper is legal or illegal in your state, that's why I like to use prize picks because everyone has prize picks and it's the most popular app. So it's easy. People understand the layout. So I'm going to show the plays on prize picks. The first play we're going to go with is Curry over 30 and a half PRA. Um, he's playing the Lakers. This dude goes off every time he plays the Lakers. They have a horrible defense against guards, and he's been hitting this line as well. You guys can see he had 39, 41, uh, only 27 against Dallas, but then 42 against the Spurs. Also, guys, I want you to realize that betting at this time of the season is very weird, very risky. There's it really depends a lot on where the records are, where teams are in the standings. And if they even need to win games, a lot of people sit their starters early, stuff like that. Weird stuff happens. So you have to be super careful about this. So the picks I have for you guys in this video, they're in games that actually do matter. So I made sure of that. So Steph Curry against the Lakers, this is a big game for both teams. They're still, the Warriors and the Lakers both still have a chance of getting in the seven and eight spot instead of the nine or 10 spot which actually is a massive difference in the you know overall play in tournament. It is a massive dif difference. So it is a big game. No starters should get pulled out for any weird reasons like that, obviously, unless it's a blowout or something. Um, but no starters should get pulled out for anything like standings or anything like that. And then it's only 34 and a half PRA. Like I said, he's been killing it. Every time he goes against the Lakers, he destroys this line, gets 50 plus every single time. It's insane. He's also been getting a lot more rebounds and assists which we love to see when it's PRA. Every rebound and assist helps out a bunch, but it's Curry. I mean, he might hit 30. He might get 35 points in this game, let alone just points. So I love him over 34 and a half, and that is heavily juiced over as well. 
Like in the books, I think it's sitting at last time I checked minus 140. So it's heavily juiced to go over. So that's another reason why I love Steph Curry right there at 34 and a half. And then the next play we're going to get into is like I was saying, guys, this right here is an amazing reason why we do use sleeper, why I use sleeper. A lot of people ask, why do you not have any money in your prize picks? Like, why does it look like you're not betting? It looks like I'm not betting because I'm not betting. Okay. I told you guys I don't bet on prize picks. Okay. I only bet on sleeper. I just do these videos so you guys can see me doing sleeper or see me doing um, it on prize picks because you guys understand the layout. This right here is, is a great example why it's annoying for me personally as a creator to use prize picks. I know you guys like it because you understand it better and everyone has prize picks, but it's annoying because I want to post these videos early so you guys get the best lines, but stuff like this happens all the time where they're not up yet. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. This is what we have to do instead. I'll just show you guys over here. If you guys are on sleeper already or you're going to get on sleeper right now, this is the play I want you guys to take. So bonus over 14 and a half rebounds. Love this play. Absolutely love this play, guys. Okay. If prize picks doesn't put it up, you guys got to get on sleeper to put this play in, but you have to do it. I don't care how you guys have to get it done. You need to get it done. So bonus over 14 and a half rebounds. This line is going to get bumped. Prize picks, if you guys are only on prize picks in your state, they will put it up eventually, or they'll put up rebounds plus assists or something like that. They'll put something up eventually where you could bet on his rebounds, um, but it's probably not going to be at 14 and a half. And if it does start at 14 and a half, they're probably going to bump it to 15 or 15 and a half. I would expect them to bump it to probably 15 is probably where they're going to set it if they do end up having it up. So basically, the reason I love this play is playing the Thunder, horrible rebounding team, bottom three in the league in rebounding. If you guys look right here, he's been killing this. He had 20 this game, 16 this game. He only had 11 against the Knicks, but that's because they are the best rebounding team in the league, and he had 11. And then he played the Clippers, had 20. So obviously, other than playing the best rebounding team in the league, he's been killing this line. And then you have them against, out of the teams you see right here, by far the worst rebounding team right here is OKC, and it's 14 and a half. Not to mention, like I was talking about earlier, how the games really matter as far as standings and stuff like that. This is a very important game for both teams, the Kings and the Thunder. The whole West in general, standing-wise, is very close in record. So pretty much every game in the West is important, but this game specifically is very important. So he's playing the worst, one of the worst rebounding teams. It's a very important game. I love Sabonis over 14 and a half rebounds. Cannot, cannot stress it enough. I love this play so much. Like you guys need to get on this play, okay? And like I said, as of time of recording this, at least, it's only on sleeper. I think prize picks, when they put it up, they're probably going to put it at 15. The reason I say that is because sleeper would put it at 15, but the reason sleeper lines are actually good is because they don't do any flat bets, which means they don't put anything at flat like 15, 16. They only do 0.5s. So instead of putting it at 15 like they probably should, they have to put it at 14 and a half. Um, that's why their lines are good. So prize picks will probably have it at 15. Sleeper's going to have it at 14 and a half here. And then the last play I like, this also isn't up on prize picks, but I saw this play and I love it. And I wanted to give you guys another play because who doesn't want more free plays? But it is Gary Trent over three and a half rebounds. He is playing the Pacers. If you guys have watched my videos before, you know we always take guards rebounding against the Pacers. We didn't take Jimmy Butler last game. I wanted to, but then last second I decided not to just because I found other bets I liked more. Um, but he did kill it. He had like seven rebounds. His line was only four and a half. I'm knock on wood. I don't want to jinx it. I'm yet to see a guard that we've taken at least over on rebounds against the Pacers. I'm yet to see a miss. The reason for that is the Pacers in general aren't a great rebounding team, but specifically against guards, the reason for that is because they are the fastest paced team in the league. They get up and down the court like crazy. The centers don't have time to get down there. So the guards are running up, up and down the court, getting all the boards. Guards kill on rebounds against the Pacers. They have all year. They've continued to do it for us, and hopefully they can continue to do it in this game as well. Not to mention, he just had seven last game right here. He had five the game before. And Emmanuel quickly is out this game. So he needs to step up for the team. Three and a half rebounds. Like like I said, he just had seven last game with quickly in. You take quickly out, and now it's only set at three and a half against a horrible rebounding team. Love this player right here. Love Gary Trent over three and a half rebounds, okay? Like I said, that's also not on prize picks. I just wanted to give you guys that for the people that are already on sleeper and the people that are going to get on sleeper. So if you guys like these plays, what I would do is I would go with Sabonis, Curry is obviously also on sleeper right here. So 
I'd go Gary Trent, Curry, and then Sabonis, and then get on Sleeper with the code GHOST, so you get this free play. And then you also get that deposit match money. So you guys could put that deposit match money. You don't have to put all of it, obviously, whatever you guys want to do. But I would take some of that deposit match money and throw it on this free play mixed with Sabonis and Curry and Gary Trent. That's what I would do. I love that play. That little four-man right there when one of them's free, so it's basically just a three-man. Absolutely love that. If you guys are going to download the Sleeper app, by the way, I put the link in the description so it's easier for you guys to do that. So you guys can just go there, download it real quick, and then throw that play in. For you guys over on Prize Picks, like I said, they're going to post these lines, okay, guys? You don't have to, you know, I don't want you guys to be annoyed if you're watching this and you only have Prize Picks in your state. It's fine. You guys can still take this. It's just time of recording. It's not up, so I have to talk about it on the sleeper side of things. But you can take Curry, PRA. You could take some bonus rebounds when they put it up and then Gary Trent rebounds when they put it up. You guys can mix and match those, especially for you guys on Prize Picks. You can use the Taco Tuesday. Mix and match them with some Taco Tuesdays for you guys. So it should be overall a pretty good day for all of us. Um, people that only have prize picks in your state, it should be a good day for you guys with the Taco Tuesday. If you guys have Sleeper available in your state, you guys got to get on Sleeper, okay? I, I only bet on Sleeper. All of the followers right now that everyone's been subscribing in the last week, everyone that's subscribed in the last week, we've all been moving over to Sleeper, okay? We all talk about it in the comments. It's actually hilarious how much better Sleeper is than Price Picks. We are dying laughing about it. I'm probably going to make a Discord soon as well, guys. If you guys want me to do that, let me know in the comments. But I'm probably going to make a Discord soon um, just because talking about it and other stuff like that is just hilarious to me. But yeah, these are the picks for you guys. Sabonis, Curry, and then Gary Trent. If you guys liked the video, please go ahead and drop a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. It's free. It takes one second. It just really helps me out. And I've been grinding these videos out for you guys. And then also go ahead and drop a comment. Like I said, if you guys like these picks, let me know. If you guys have your own picks, let me know. And then if you guys have been hitting on this 12 and 4 run we are on right now, also let me know there as well. And then, like I said, let me know if you want that Discord as well. We might drop that if enough people want it. And then, as always, please go ahead and subscribe. I post these videos every single day as soon as I possibly can. And like I said, we are hitting, okay? I know a lot of YouTubers out here just, oh, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Trust me, I watch other YouTubers too. It gets kind of annoying, especially if they're not hitting their plays. Guys, if I'm not hitting my plays, I'm not going to ask you guys to like and subscribe, okay? Because I don't deserve it at that point, right? But we are on a 12-4 and four run. We even went, I think, like 8-3 and three before that. So we've been killing it in the NBA. Um, so please, please, please do go ahead and subscribe. But other than that, guys, those are the plays for NBA on Tuesday. Good luck with your bets, and I'll catch you next video.